Good morning. Good. We started off good. Way to go. <laughs> I know it's early, so here's your techno job this morning. My name is Matthew, and I'm 11 years old. I'll be a sixth grader at Oak Hill Elementary School, and I play baseball for McCutcheville. This summer, my all-star team went 13 to 5. This resulted in two second place trophies and one first place trophy. I'm mainly play catcher, but I can also play second and outfield. I also play basketball in the winter. Although I'm not nearly as good at basketball, my team got second place this past season. Woohoo! <laughs> I also played piano, and I've been playing piano for two and a half years. I even have two piano trophies, although they're not near as big as my baseball and basketball trophies. But I am connected. I'm connected to my friends, family, and teachers through FaceTime, Skype, and my big campus. I even play video games with my friends through FaceTime. Like Ms. Beard said, I'm an Oak Hill Elier. We are a group of soon-to-be sixth grade students who teach teachers how to use technology in their classrooms. <laughs> we have been a group since we were fourth graders, so it's been two years. And we participated in ISTE in San Antonio, Texas, E-Rev in Evansville, Indiana, and we are here today in Jeffersonville. We'll be hosting a Tech Tool Smackdown later this morning at 11.15. We will teach you some easy techie tools you can use in your classroom. Some of those tools include BrainPop, YouTube, Google SketchUp, Weebly, PowerPoint, and more. Some of these are gaming tools and some of these are work tools, but all can be used at school or at home. Ever since I was a baby, I've loved technology, although probably not this much. That wasn't really me, but that was funny, right? <laughs> Did you know that there are over 31 billion searches on YouTube every month? Did you know that the total number of text messages sent and received every day exceeds the total population of the planet? Did you know that there are over 250 million photos uploaded to Facebook every day? Now we're going to get you involved. First, we're going to do it your way, then we're going to do it my way. Raise your hand if you said you would never have a Facebook page. Now raise your hand if you have a Facebook page. Almost the whole crowd. Now everybody who said they would never have a Facebook page, raise their hand again saying they wouldn't have a, they would have a Facebook page. Now we're going to do it my way. It's called Poll Everywhere. Free, free website. PollEverywhere.com. Create your poll. Anybody can answer it. So you're going to text. The number you're texting to is 22333. Get your digital devices and do that. If you have a Facebook page, text... 19115 in the text message. And if you don't, text 200 74 right, now, now I'll see the results. So almost everybody in the crowd has a Facebook page. Did you know in 2012, one million accounts were added to Twitter every day? Did you know that more than five million photos are uploaded to Instagram every day? Did you know the average American users of Pinterest spend an average of one hour and 17 minutes on the site?
Did you know that Google Plus has over 400 million users? And that the Google Plus One button is used 5 billion times per day? Did you know in the last 24 hours, 13,270 people bought the game Minecraft? One of my favorite video games. And during the course of my presentation, approximately 150,000 songs will be downloaded from the iTunes store. What does all this mean? It means we are connecting to each other in more ways than we ever have been before. It means that you are trying to prepare me for a job that doesn't even exist yet, that require technology that hasn't been invented yet, solve problems that aren't even problems yet. How are you gonna do that? Well, I can look up any of these questions with this object that's no brain the size of my hand. It's hard to imagine what life is like, BG. Does anybody know what BG means? Yeah. <laughs> Classrooms have changed a lot since you are my age. This means we have to change the way we teach. <laughs> if your classroom looks like one you once sat in, it shouldn't, it needs to change. It needs to have all the technology possible in it. As Steve Jobs once said, computers themselves and software yet to be developed will revolutionize the way we learn. That's Steve Jobs. We have iPads in our school because of the generosity of our PTA. But you know what? I'll tell you a little secret. Some of the teachers in our school aren't sure to do those, uh, those iPads. They know what to do with them. But most of them are really excited we have them and are getting their hands on them as much as they can. We have Promethean boards, laptops, netbooks, and a few computers available in every classroom. So our district is one to one in grade six or 12. Although we're not nearly as fortunate as your district who has Chromebooks in grades three through 12. I am so jealous. Technology is just a tool. It is about your relationship with your students that matters most. Students don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. I know my teachers care about me because they know how I learn and they encourage me to take risks. I learn best by visualizing what I'm learning and collaborating with others. Short videos are a great tool for me. One of those short videos would be Brain Pop. Brain Pop is multiple subjects. You pick your subject and watch the video. But now there's a new edition where st teachers can create their own quizzes to go along, to go along with the videos. If you don't like Brain Pop, then check out Liberty Kids. Liberty Kids is a YouTube series. This is all social studies based. So you won't get any English or math or science in this. We spend way too much time taking tests. I can do so much more than fill in bubbles on a standardized test. My teachers know that about me. So where am I going with all this? I'm here to remind you that the process of teaching and learning is changing so quickly. I'm here to encourage you to be a fierce learner like I am. Jump in and try it. Nothing bad is going to happen. Well, it can ba something bad could happen if you're not careful, but that's in our session. <laughs> I'm a button pusher. Nothing bad is going to happen, as long as you know where the undo button is. I've learned how to use tons of techie tools because I just jumped in and tried them. My teachers encouraged me to do that. Don't be afraid of technology because it can't hurt you. This is a tool called Wordle. Does anybody know, everybody knows what Wordle is, right? Well, if you don't know what it is, it's a website, type in all the words you want, and it randomizes them somewhat like this. These words describe me. Now, I know you guys are just giving me homework, but today I'm gonna give you homework. Your assignment is to get connected. Today is a great day to do that. Great place to start is Twitter. Twitter is more than just finding out what Justin Bieber had for breakfast. There are over 200,000 teachers on Twitter who share and collaborate their ideas. Now, technically, I'm not old enough to be on Twitter, so I really can't check your homework. But my teacher says the best teach teaching and learning ideas in the world come from Twitter. She can't live without it, so she'll be checking your homework. Follow the hashtag GCCC13 with your ideas, and then follow my teacher, Adeline Beard, and she'll check your homework. Here's another great tool you can use in your classroom called Padlet. Padlet, go to www.okleaders.weebly.com and click on Matthew's keynote and tell me what you thought about my keynote today. Don't forget your homework. And as Henry Ford once said, coming together is a beginning, keeping together is a process, progress, and working together is success. Thank you for your time.